Okay, so this is kind of like the most random video ever, but I was just reminiscing on my college days, specifically the first half of my second year. And I was just like, it's so weird because the music I listened to was so like different than like now, but also so similar. So it's so weird. Like I feel like everything I listened to in 2022, because at this time period, I was listening to a lot of new people I've never listened to before. So it's just kind of weird that in this time period, it kind of foreshadowed what I would be listening to now because obviously like, the music I listened to in my fall semester probably differ differed from the music in the spring. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's just weird. It's just weird. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go to my Spotify. I did not use Spotify back then, so unfortunately I can't, like, go back and see my wrapped. But I do remember who I was listening to. Um, so first off, this is just so funny. I, w I was listening. I was literally obsessed with Crash. This was like the first charlie album i really got into i was oh my god i would i literally have memories walking into the library and yuck playing and i would just be like bumping i'd be like yep yep i would walk all over campus listening to this album it was such a bop it was such a bop also i'm pretty sure midnights came out at this time so you know not not to be basic but i i was listening to midnights by Taylor. Taylor. Obviously, this was just like the basic version. So yeah, I think at the time, well, really Snow on the Beach. That was the one I really loved, but I did love um, Antihero and your, I liked I liked all of them. Let's be honest. I, I did. I liked all of them. Oh. Okay. Additionally, I think this was around this time. Again, if someone calls me out in the comments and they go, this album wasn't out at this time, then I'm confusing with my spring semester, but I'm pretty sure this was all in my fall semester. Yes. Okay. I'm like, yes, this is, this is, the math is mathing right now. I would also listen to the Lumineers, the Bright Side album. When you live near a beach, you start listening to, like, I feel like, more bright albums right like more bright beachy stuff so yeah i i was i was this was on replay am radio birthday roller coaster loved all those so yeah i was obsessed with bright side album by the lumineers and the bright side acoustic also this is so again this one is what weirds me out like a lot so i was i was bumping with the born pink album listen y'all listen listen I never listened to K-pop music before then. Only heard it on the radio. Okay, I do not know what made me listen to the Born Pink album. I, I truly don't know. Like, I mean, I, I think I listened to a couple songs from the album, but I was really streaming the Born Pink album, which I'm like, damn, like I should have went to the concert because I totally could have went when I was out there. I remember I was, I was literally looking at the tickets. I was literally looking at them. I was like, you know, I could go. It's like happening while I'm in school. And then I was like, no, it's too much money and it would be a hassle to get there. And I was just like, I'm not a big enough fan. Girl, yes, you are. You in two years is gonna be mad that you didn't go. So, you know, I didn't go, which is unfortunate. Um, but I, again, I literally cannot tell you what made me listen to Born Pink at this time. I know I was obsessed with Tally and Type of Girl. Again, I have another vivid memory of me walking near like the music buildings and it was like in the shade and I was listening and I was like, yeah, this is good. Like, this is good. It's so weird. Also, at this time, I was listening to Jack Johnson. He did go to my school, so I was like, yes, let me listen to him. So, I, I think I just listened, honestly, to, like, his old stuff, like, In Between Dreams and, like, the, the Curious George soundtrack. So, kind of a fake fan, but again, when you are living at the beach, you want beachy music, okay? And at that time, again, also, I was low-key, um, what's the word? What's the word? I was low-key forced into listening to Sublime, but, like, I'll accept it. I'll accept it. I was just bumping it to Sublime. I, I, again, I remember it being so sunny outside and me having my headphones on and listening to Sublime being like, wow, I'm really cool. I am really, really cool, you know? 
So I also believe at this time, again, I was still listening to um, Harry's House, but I think it died down in the fall semester, but I still was obsessed. I mean, I did go to his Madison Square Garden thing in the summer. So then obviously in school, it kind of like carried over. So yeah, I really, we love grape juice. We love grape juice. We love daydreaming. We love satellite. We love, we love all the songs on this album essentially. Yes. Let me think what else I was listening to. Oh, yeah. These are very consistent ones. So again, I was listening to Alana Lana. So we were listening to Honeymoon. Honeymoon was on repeat. NFR. NFR was definitely also on repeat during this time. Again, I haven't been streaming those as much lately, but I still do love them. And also this was the time where I was going through a Marina like renaissance. The, yeah, this is what I remember. I just totally forgot she existed. And then at that time rediscovered everything. So I was like a Marina girl. I was a Marina girl. So I actually, I really did like her new album, The Ancient Dreams and Modern Land. I really did. I liked Man's world I, I mean like again i liked all these songs obviously electra heart was streaming that was streaming the family jewels pretty much all for yes all of her albums i was because yes i remember listening to fruit i was obsessed and now knowing the lore with her and charlie is so funny because it's like that fruit looks familiar if you know you know also during this time, again, I was listening to a lot of new people at this time, a lot of new people. I was listening to a lot of Carly Rae Jepsen, which I haven't listened to in a while, but I think at the time, yes, this is when her, yes, I'm, and now I'm, I'm okay, I'm remembering. This is when her album, The Loneliest Time came out. So I was kind of listening to that. I was, I was, because I remember listening to it in my bed playing the DS. So go stream Carly Rae Jepsen, to be honest. Go stream Carly Rae. Also, at this time, I think it wasn't until a little later in the fall semester, but I was- Listen. I, I said this once. I, I said this many times. I was listening to- <laughs> I was listening to emails I can't send before it was trendy. Okay, I wish I had the receipts because back in this time, okay, people, I, rem I literally remember so vividly, bruv. It was near like November probably or somewhere near that time. And I remember people were just talking about on the internet how good her album was. I was like, let me check it out. So I started listening to it casually and I was like, you know what? This is kind of really good. Um, so then I remember, I literally specific, I, you know what, Ella, if you're watching this, comment down below if you remember this because factually I know this happened. I remember texting my cousin Ella that she should listen to the album because it's so good. And I was, I said, honestly, I kind of like her music a little more than Olivia's. Not pitting them against each other, but that is what I said at the time. Okay, this was, again, this was before the deluxe. This was, this was just the album. Again, this was in my constant rotation to the point where I, I was listening to it the day the deluxe came out. When the deluxe came out, I literally specifically remember at the gym, putting on the deluxe version and listening to the deluxe songs. And I was very satisfied. I was very satisfied. Yes, I was very satisfied. But like, yeah, like, so that was in my rotation 100% facts like I was there before well I wasn't there like before before the hype started but you know I was there before she like blew up to the point where she was now just have to let everyone know that um because I think that makes me worthy or something also let me think I know I'm missing someone I know oh my god I would listen to the Beatles non-stop bruv non-stop non-stop it was in my rotation heavily heavily Abbey Road was listening to it all the time Octopus's Garden the White Album yes I slay freaking slay honey pie freaking slay blackbird freaking slay rocky raccoon yes Yes, I, I actually now remembering I listened to this album quite a lot. Quite. Man, what is going on with my hat? Oh no. Quite a lot. Yeah, I'm having another one I'm remembering. I would also listen to The Neighborhood. Or is it The Neighborhood? 
yes it was yes again i was trying to rediscover a lot of people this was less so at the end of 2022 more like earlier like fall but i do remember i would listen to this album i only know by the cover because i i only listened this was a very short period of time i mean i did listen to like other albums um but yes i was listening to the neighborhood very heavily at one for like one month it was like heavily and then it kind of like died down yes and also i think i forgot to include this lana one but freaking just born to die was again i listened to that like almost if i wasn't listening to sabrina at the gym i was either listening to sabrina or lana maybe the neighborhood some days but yeah so that's who i listened to like this is who i remember listening to fall 2022 again i charlie i listened to a lot at that time marina was a lot blackpink was a lot lana was a lot so those are like the stand and the beatles was a lot those were like the standouts of that era but it's so weird like comparing it to now because like i listen to all those people but like i definitely listen to marina less and charlie more again i listen to blackpink and other k-pop people way more um and i haven't been listening to the beatles as much just because i've been in my k-pop era but we know that but it's just so weird like to see the differences because i don't know that i don't know i just very vividly remember the music i was listening to at that time and this this hasn't happened at any other time period like this specific time period i remember exactly what i was listening to everything else i really don't remember so i just wanted to make this video so i don't forget because these are like this is kind of iconic i don't know i just like seeing how my music tastes change over the years see see 